Hey guys, gals and legionnaires, Rykon here and welcome back to another week of Let's Relax with RimWorld. Now, you are seeing this on Tuesday, I believe, but I'm actually recording this on Monday, Monday morning. Uh, and I've had an interesting morning so far, pretty interesting morning. I had an email from YouTube support, yay! Uh, and it said that I had received my verification, that I was going to be verified on YouTube. However... I'd like to think that in my many years on Earth, I've managed to learn to, well, not trust everything at its face value. And uh, if something seems too good to be true, it usually is. Generally, you don't get verified on YouTube until you're at the 100,000 subscriber mark. Um, and with me being at 40,000 means that it would be very, very early for that to happen. And so I was skeptical at first, if not a little bit giddy. And so sure enough, after a little bit of digging, it did turn out to be a Russian phishing scam. So, there you go. <laughs> so I'm feeling a little jaded this morning that uh, I've been disappointed once again by humanity. So, ah, there we go. I guess, you know, just goes to show, don't trust something if it seems to be, you know, too good. Too good to be true. So there you go. I think, I think you still trust other people. I know I can trust all of you at the very least so we got something there at least don't we that's good anyway we're back here we're back in the colony and everything's looking generally okay panda is a little bit on the bad side of things at the moment um let's try and figure out exactly why um just feeling bad okay oh that's okay we all will kind of get that way sometimes you'll come right i'm sure um, but also, you're trying to have a romance with Zeke at the moment. Zeke already being taken. Like, Sam is, Sam's eligible, but obviously Sam is, um, she's interested in the ladies, and we only have Zeke at the moment, so I feel like we need to have some more, um, female colonists in the long run to kind of keep a balance, a kind of cohesion, because at the moment, yeah, poor, <laughs> poor Zeke is just getting far too much attention. Um, we've got a ridiculous amount of turkeys now, just like an unbelievable amount, but for the most part they seem to be doing okay. Um, I'm happy that this is kind of replanted, that it's on its way back. I'm happy that we're going to have some more food coming in down here as well, because they are, they, are, they were at the point where they were starving, so that's not what we want. That's the last thing we want, actually. Um, I'm hoping that we will see some more raw construction down here, but I know that most of the construction at the moment is going into our, our, you know, our project up here. It's going to take a little while for this construction to be complete. I think that they are working on this power line for the most part, yeah. Which we're going to get back. I mean, that's a good thing at least. And look, you know, there's a lot of steel slag around here. We're going to be able to get steel back from that as well, but probably not too much. Oh, we've marked that for hunting as well. Good. So hopefully we should see some more meat come in. Because uh, we don't actually have any there at the moment, which is a little bit on the surprising side. Um, what's Sam doing currently? Researching. Who do we have um, marked as our hunters? Solid. Oh, and well, there you go. Sounds like um, someone's doing work. All oh, right. Yeah, we've got we've got quite a few animals down here. It looks like they're wanting to hunt. Maybe finish off the unconscious emu first. <laughs> I'm just saying, buddy. <laughs> well, it's going to get him a lot better with um, his rifle there. What are we at? 64%. Not so bad. Temperature is 5 degrees in here. Okay, we need to rectify that right now. Okay, I did not realize that. Let's go ahead and get that on. We need to get these temperatures uh, a little bit better. So we might want to go and turn another one on in here. So we'll go ahead and designate that to be turned on. Um, and I'm tempted. I'm like half tempted to, to block this up again. You know what? No, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and deconstruct that. And we're just going to go ahead and... Go build a copy, and hopefully we should actually have... Yeah, we've got a decent amount kind of in stockpile at the moment, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, we've got a decent amount of steel in our stockpile at the moment. Uh, so much so that it's actually... Uh, well, the doors are overflowing with it. Yeah. Um, so, actually, you know what? No, no, we don't need to do the vent. What am I doing? We leave the vent there. It'll vent into here and out into here and just all around. So, that'll help that spread a little bit. Um, temperature is 18 degrees in there. We're still at 7 degrees, so we're probably going to have to turn the majority of these on, just because it is such a large space. We're at 9 degrees outside, which isn't too cold, but, yeah. Um, and I wonder if I should reverse this now. Um, because it is going to be getting a lot colder now. 
I guess we could just turn off for now, right? Yeah, let's just um, just have that turned off for now. And we could probably look at putting a heater in there, maybe. Um, because at the moment, I don't think we have a problem with power. Uh, we still have a problem at the moment with, uh, you know, just general resources. <laughs> um, but I think we're okay for the most part. I, I'm tempted to, you know what, we're going to put it there. Try and balance out the room a little bit. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we have some components for that. We've got 100 units of food at the moment. I've been told you need about 300 per season, so I think maybe having 300, well, for this amount of us, so I think maybe having 300 would be good. Looks like Booty's off to go and construct something. Oh, you're making component. Wait. Oh, he was making components down there. Very nicely done, Booty. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, you drop them off over there. Wow, that takes quite a long time to make it past all of those chunks. I'm half tempted to, to say no chunks allowed here so that they get moved. Um, let's see. We'll turn chunks off. Yeah. Uh, apart from maybe steel slag. We'll allow that to go there. Um, and that means that we'll probably just have the stone out the front somewhere. Um, I've also been told we can turn off the ground penetrating scanner as well. We probably don't need to right now because of um, our power situation with our batteries. Um, although in saying that, yeah, you know what, let's, let's just turn it off for now. That's fine, we'll switch it off. Um, but I might start leaving the turrets on all the time because we obviously are generating enough power. See, we're kind of we're kind of working our way back up. Let's see, stored. Yeah, it's getting up there. So I think what I want to do is just get the power up a little bit more, and then once it's a little bit more stable, we're probably going to go with running all these on all the time. Like this is on currently. Um, we do have a way to turn it off as well. That's good. It looks like we have a way to turn the others off as well. Good. Yeah, he's he's going and making components like a boss. Good work, my friend. Good work. Nice, that's, that's what I like to see. Um, okay, so we've got some smoke leaf going over there. Oh, is, I thought Dustin was uh, using the smoke leaf, but no, he's getting steel at the moment. Um, this seems to be the most efficient way for us to do it right now. Um, resource below, nothing. Okay, so there's nothing below there anymore. So um, we are going to need to build another one of those. So let's actually go and turn this ground penetrating scanner back on. I apologize whoever turned it off before. It was probably Zeke. And you're probably heading back out there again. Oh no, you're just cleaning dirt. It's nice to know that the cleaning zones are actually working well. Or well enough at least. What will be at 53%. Come on, grow. Grow my suckers. Okay, we're at 23 in there. What's the temperature in here? 4 degrees. That's not very high. And we've blocked this off as well. So I guess we're not actually outputting much heat uh, into here. So it looks like we are going to need a heater in there as well. So let's go ahead and build the heater on the inside there um i guess what we could do theoretically is have a vent going into here into the yeah yeah let's do that instead so let's cancel that minor break risk yeah panda panda's just not feeling so great at the moment um we're gonna have this in here but we're gonna create a vent down here so that we vent some of the hot air into the uh, turkey house and I think it'll work okay. Uh, the only thing that I'm concerned about is it turning itself off overnight. Oh, look at you go, Ralph. Well done. Nice. Um, what am I doing at the moment? Relaxing socially. I'm surprised that more of this hasn't been deconstructed yet. Yeah. Um, I'm half tempted to get us making some more regular meals as well. But I guess I guess the thing is, like, we'll make regular meals when we can. I think is, is think is the idea. Yeah, yeah. So we'll make fine meals when we can, but the simple meals, let's say just do until we have, and let's actually go up to 300. So let's just add, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> let's just go up in lots of 25. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's good. Um, and so we will we'll use the vegetables while they're there, but once we get meat in, we will start making some fine meals. So I think I think that'll be a good mix of things. Um, Solid's probably going to be relatively busy working on on hunting pretty much all the time. He's probably going to be a solid hunter. That's what he's going to be doing the majority of his days, watching television. Ah, very nice. Yeah, this is still counted as a workshop, huh? Even though even though the doors are closed. This should be a dining room, because 
I, I don't know if they'll get the buff then. Oh, you know, extremely, oh, extremely impressive. Rec room and dining room. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Man, Zeke is just like super happy. Nuzzled by her doggo as well. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Okay. So we've got some more hunting going on outside. Very nice. Sam is researching like crazy again. So good. Okay, so we've got that marked for deconstruction. Let's look at moving it somewhere else. So we've we've used up all of that there. How about we move it over here? So if we go build copy and then we'll build one just there. Uh, again, this is going to be part of that line that turns itself off at night. But for the most part, they're not going to be working at night. So, yeah. What are you, what are you hunting solid? The ostrich, oh, I see. Um, I'm trying to think if there's a way that we might be able to improve Panda's mood at all. Sleep in the cold. Is that these rooms here? Yeah. Oh, is this not connected to anything right now? Let's have a look, power-wise. Uh, it is just out of reach. Well, would you look at that? Uh, so I think if we just come across like that, that should be able to reach that fine. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna take myself real quick hauling steel to vent oh good I am actually doing some construction because um, yeah no, that's good I was afraid that it was just all crafting at the moment we've got some more mortar shells nice we've got a decent amount stockpiled over there as well good so we should be able to build some other bits and pieces okay Dustin is getting that in good yeah so that is actually oh no it's not turned off overnight Good. Huh. What network is that on then? Oh, it's on this one down here. Perfect. Okay, that makes sense. Good. It's it's literally only that. The light that's on that. Very nice. Good, good, good. Oh, Ralph, you're so good. It's nice to see them uh, getting the job done there. Okay, so I know that I want to rest, but... Oh, no, Dustin's doing that. Okay, good work, Dustin. Nice. I guess that means that he's um, had enough of mining for the time being, which might mean that, yep, there's no resources below there either. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and deconstruct that, and we'll build another copy. It looks like that one's going to be built there. So how about, um, is it going to destroy part of the field if we build it along here? Because, I mean, there's quite a bit that we can still get from inside there. Um, I guess we could go inside the power room for now. No, we can't, because it's kind of overlapping. Uh, we could start working one out here. Yeah, that's okay. We'll do that. We shall do that. Thank you, Panda. Good work on the construction front. Everyone's in their little sleeping area over here, having a nice sleep. Very good. All in all, things are going okay in the colony. What are we at? Minus nine. That's perfect. That's good. I'm half tempted to kind of change the situation around at the moment because at the moment we've got the butchering table on this side here. Although in saying that, they, they don't have to be butchering so often. Um, yeah. Yeah, there, there isn't too much butchering to be done. So I, I guess when they're in there working on the animals, they don't have to be doing it too much. We're going to start having quite a bit of beer, I think. How much beer is in there? Because that's like 25. 20. We, we've got a decent amount of beer. So, you know, it's going to keep them going good at least. And still got some out there. I think the animals have been getting to it. Oh, nice. Very nice. Good, good, good. So it looks like it, it is actually getting hauled out of there. Thank you. And the fact that Torvid's doing that as well would lead me to believe that there isn't actually any growing work to be done right now, which is kind of, uh, wow, it's kind of surprising. Yeah. Um, I guess no one's really doing this at the moment, um, making the smoke leaf joint. Now, what do you need? No, there's like no, there's no minimum skill. Apologies, smacking the microphone around. Um, apparently, yeah, apparently there's no minimum skill for that. So anyone should be able to do that. Um, I just don't think, I guess they might not need to do it. I, I'm not so sure. Uh, okay, so what's the temperature like through here? It could be better, right? It could be better than that. I mean, 10 degrees is not... Yeah. Could be better than 10 degrees. Uh, I guess it's because this is quite a large space, so we might have to go ahead and install another heater maybe down this way here. And it might be overkill, but I feel like our power at the moment is good enough to kind of sustain that. 
because mm. I mean we're still going up at the moment. It is it's a slow build. It's a slow build right up to uh, the maximum amount, but um, yeah, I think we'll be able to sustain everything when it's on fully. I mean I guess during the day the sun lamps and everything they will be drawing a decent amount more, but yeah. Uh, we have no way of preparing proper meals from raw food. Oh, I don't think that's true. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's true. <laughs> I think we have a stove that works perfectly fine. So, oh, that's at the other place, isn't it? God damn! I feel like we we probably need to abandon it just so we stop getting alerts and having events happening over there, because uh, it's getting a little old. <laughs> Oh, there was actually some steel there. Nice. Um, I'm so surprised to see Torvia doing hauling at the moment. Um, <laughs> yeah, very, very surprised. Because usually there is always something to do there. Um, who's doing work at the moment? Who's constructing? Ross is awake. Could have been Justice. Probably Panda. Ah, Panda. Nice. Making another deep drill. Good. Okay, let's see what we got. Good. Okay, and you're gonna go start working on the heater now. Cool, okay, so that'll work its way through. Poor ostrich, god damn. Solid, you need to be finishing your finishing your work out here, man. Is he not very good at shooting? No, he's pretty good at shooting. He should be able to do this. I don't know why he hasn't been bringing in as many, um... Because we haven't, we haven't, we haven't had any animals in here for a while, so I'm a little surprised that he hasn't been actually getting them. Um... Yeah, I mean, I would have thought that the hunting rifle would be the best weapon for the job, but maybe it isn't. Oh, sniper rifle, rather. Maybe it's something like the pulse rifle, which was pretty good for Sam. I mean, it was a pretty quick weapon. Yeah, not so sure. Either that or the shotgun. The shotgun, you have to get a lot closer, and they generally don't always get close before they shoot, so... Yeah, I'm not so sure on that. I mean, the minigun's an option, right? I don't think the minigun is the best thing for hunting, though. Yeah, I don't think. How's it going for Scow? Scow the chef. Tons of joy. Doing good. Doing well. And I actually just for I completely forgot. Um, I promised that I was going to go through all of our skills um, and just and just show how kind of everyone's improved. So here we have myself. Pretty good at shooting. Social skills are great. Construction skills are really good. Next up we got Zeke. Zeke's best skill is construction, but is pretty good at melee, okay at shooting, and pretty good socially. But um, also has some artistic skill as well, which I didn't actually realize because it's usually Bradley that takes on all the artistic endeavors. Uh, next up we've got um, we've got Solid, who is pretty de decent at shooting. He's our main hunter at the moment, uh, but is also passionate about medicine as well. So that's good. Sam, we can see, has actually maxed out She's godlike at research. So she researches just so incredibly quick because she is a human computer of sorts. She is just so incredibly um, intelligent when it comes to that. She's also good at construction, but is also really good at shooting as well. Is very really passionate about shooting. So there we go. We've got Dustin. Dustin is a fantastic miner. He's good at construction. He's pretty good at growing. And he actually has a little bit of artistic skill. Then we've got Bradley, who is very good at artistic. He's actually passionate about shooting, but doesn't really have a lot of skill in it. But he's really good when it comes to animals and social. We have Torviad, who is good at shooting, really good at growing, and he's he's our night owl as well, so he's always working on the gardens late at night. Then we've got Justice, and Justice is good with animals as well, surprisingly, but is uh, really good when it comes to medicine. And I think he is our best doctor out of uh, out of everyone that we have. Then we have Booty, who is a fantastic miner and also a great crafter, and and that's something that we really need to mention because like we only have the two crafters, myself and Booty, are the only people that can really do any kind of crafting. Uh, poor Panda again, unfortunately. So Panda's really pas passionate about mining and construction, so that's primarily what we're going to have Panda doing. But is also herbalist as well, so the growing skill. Yeah, the growing skill's kind of there a little bit. And then finally we've got Scow, who is actually doesn't have anything to do right now apparently is oh because scow is our scow is our chef so who is taking up the responsibility of cooking right now harvesting heal root why are you harvesting heal root oh because solid is doing the cooking at the moment ah okay see i don't i don't want that i need solid uh actually out there hunting so oh great there's a cold snap 
Well, I guess the cold snap should be outside. Yeah, it is outside. It's going to kill all of that outside, though. So that's... Mm. Yeah. Winter is coming. Again. And I don't know how prepared we are for it. Oh my god, our meals are going down again so fast. Yeah, so we need to just start producing a lot faster. Uh, we might actually need two kitchens. I know I know we said that a while ago, and I know we actually did get one for a while, but um, we might need to do that. Uh, but for the time being, I want Solid to be focusing on hunting and not cooking. So I'm just going to change that around for him. So, yeah, he's going to go out and he's going to start hunting. That is good. Dustin is doing some mining over here. Scow is actually harvesting the heal roots at the moment, so that's kind of good. But um, I might want to interrupt him here and get him to go back and just start cooking again. Because um, he is the best chef out of all of us, so he's going to be good at doing that. Um, is Bradley staying busy? He is, so he's making his much larger pieces of art, uh, which I like. Um, I would almost like him to do a little bit of um, crafting over here as well. Milk and Fleur. Okay, go ahead and do it, my friend. <laughs> go ahead and do it. Okay, solid. Yeah, so our crops out here are probably not going to make it. In here, we should be okay. We should be able to survive the cold snap just fine. Um... Yeah, we shouldn't have any major issues. Yeah, temperature in there is pretty good as well. Nice, 18 degrees, 20 degrees in here. Nice, that's good. Yeah, so Scar's going to be working on that. Look at all the puppies. Look at them all. We've got so many puppies. <laughs> Too many puppies right now. So, yeah. I still think we need to do something about that. We need to perhaps um, trade them to some traders in time. Uh, do we actually still have some fermenting in there? Yeah, we do. We actually have more beer on the go, surprisingly enough. All right, Scow. Nice. He's going to try and make a fine meal along the way. Maybe I shouldn't be making fine meals at the moment. Maybe I should be focusing on that 300 number. Okay, we're going to focus on the 300 number. We'll let him make this last one. Hey, we got a bird. Good work. Okay, solid. Nice. Uh, so the good thing with Solid is that he should go out, he should hunt um, for everything that we've got targeted, and then when he comes back, hopefully he will start doing the uh, butchering side of things. Um, I'm nervous about the animals now because, um, just because of this more than anything, um, I feel like we might need to, yeah, we'll see. I want this goddamn Devil Strand to like finish growing, because I think we're going we're gonna to have to get rid of it. We're either going to need to get another crop of corn, or get a, another crop of hay grass just for the animals to keep them alive. Um, the animals are like a long-term investment for us. They're going to pay off really well eventually. But we're going to have to kind of try and change how we're, we're working with them at the moment. Uh, because, for example, like the... Um, uh, God damn. I've forgotten what they're called now. Uh, Ibex? Yeah, the ibex that we have, the ibex that we have, they take a long time to to get fully grown. So I, I'm not so sure about us keeping them around long term. Uh, okay, so I think we're just going to finish this off. Like, um, I don't know if I want to research all of those, but um, let's just research pemmican real quick. Um, but we are going to do all of these as well. Going to work our way through all of those. Uh, but we, we aren't going to concern ourselves with that so much. But Sam is actually out hunting at the moment. Maybe that's actually better. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually take... Um, can we cancel research? I think we can. So if we just go to that and then go... No? Okay. I think we'd have to finish it to be able to do that. Um, maybe I'll just change her around a little bit. So Sam... Let's just make research a number four priority. And we'll make hunting a number three. So that's good. You should still do it. And Solid is actually bringing in some more as well, so... Yay, that's good at the very least. Yeah, I'm looking at our Ibex, and I'm thinking that... Long term, it's just not gonna... Mm. I mean, I know, and then we've got things like the bear. Like, the bear could work well for us defensively. Um, all the turkeys are obviously, you know, they're going to be very useful for us. Um, the the boars, however, they seem to mature a little bit faster than the ibexes. So, that and the boars we can actually use for hauling and all kinds of things. So, they, they can be quite handy for us to have. Um, I'm almost willing to give the boars the same kind of run of the place. 
So if we go to our animals and we if we have a look at all of them, I'm probably going to put the boars on the same lot just because I want them to have access to those things so that they can uh, potentially do some hauling for us. So we're going to allow them to go throughout that whole area as well. So that means they're going to be able to come inside, but um, I'm okay with that because they might actually be able to help us out with hauling. All right, we're filling it out a little bit more. I don't know why they decide to have their meals in here. Like, now they're going to get, yeah, the debuff for eating without a table. Why did they do that? Like, maybe I need to have a break for them in the, in the middle of the day. Maybe that's what it is. So maybe I need to look at their, their working hours here and then just... Oh, but then I don't actually have a lot of working hours. It's really only myself. Everyone else has just anything. So what what I'd like to see is for them to be smart enough to go, okay, there's a table in there, and go to the nearest table and eat. Because there's nothing stopping them from doing that. But I feel like they're trying to be too proficient, and they are just, um, yeah, trying to just eat where they're working, which is not what I want at all. Um, I think I might need to change our cleaning area. Let's just have a look at our zones really quick. Um, because we actually do need to clean in here because of all the blood. Uh, so we're going to expand... Expand allowed area? Yeah, for cleaning. So we're going to expand it to include this area around here. Because, um, yeah, bringing the animals in and everything, I think it is going to be important for us to keep that area clean. Um, what is Zeke doing at the moment? Cutting a poplar tree. Why? Is plant cutting? No. Cleaning? Number one? Why are you doing that, Zeke? <laughs> oh, because you were working on construction. Right, okay. That's good, she is actually getting back for that now. Good. Um, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's the other place. Okay, all right. I think we actually need to abandon this place because I'm going to keep on freaking out like that time and time again. And... <laughs> I can't deal with that, so I'm just going to abandon this place. It doesn't mean that we can't come back to it. I think we can come back to it just fine. Um, it just means that it's not being simulated all the time, which is probably good for us in the long run. So we're just going to go ahead and, and abandon that. Ah, oh, there's all the animals. That's why we didn't do it in the first place. Look at all those bloody chickens. Do we send someone back to get all the chickens? I feel like it's worth it. If, if we're gonna do it, like, I feel like now would be the time to do it. Can we just send one person to go there and then just come back with all of them? Because the animals, you don't need anything to kind of bring with them. You just need food. So let's say, who, who do we want to send? I mean, we could send myself. I'm just thinking, who can we do without right now? Let's, um, let's pause. I think it is actually paused right now. Um... Yeah, no, we don't, we don't 100% need myself right now. So let's get me and I'm just going to take some food with me. Let's go. We're going to bring a decent number of simple meals. We need at least, we need to be able to make it back. So I'm going to say 6.2 days worth of food. 6.6. Uh, because .6. I guess the animals will need something as well. So maybe we'll, I'll take 18. Accept. Okay, good. So I'm going to get together that food and then get ready to leave. Okay. And then after I get those animals and, and herd back all the chickens together, that's when we'll do it. And I've actually just realized now I do need to change everyone over because it is essentially, we're getting into winter now, so we need to have a look at our restrictions. Uh, not restrictions, assigning. Okay, so we want to assign winter soldier. <laughs> we are now the winter soldier. Okay, and everyone else is going to be going into uh, winter mode. Oh, which I haven't actually made yet. Okay, so let's have a look at what summer is right now. So summer, I've allowed like armor vest button down, duster. Okay, okay, right. So let's go edit and we'll go new outfit and we'll name this outfit Winter. Okay, and so Winter will be Tooks and nothing else. This is for the civilians. So Tooks, armor vest, no. Button down shirt, sure. Uh, jacket, no, I'd rather it be a parka, really. Uh, but it, I mean, it could, it, see, that's chilly, but we're going into cold. So we do want parkas. So pants, parkas, personal shields, no, power armor, no, tribal. 
and t-shirt yes okay so that is winter so now we need to go through and change everyone over to winter and this is when i hope that we actually have enough parkers still because we might not because i am not always good at preparing things okay there we go all right good um uh, how many parkers do we have oh we've got a few one two three four five six seven yeah, we should be good. We should be good. Uh, it's the Tooks that we might not have enough of, but it looks like everyone's coming back here. They're getting into their gear. Why did Justice take off the armor vest? Okay, everyone's getting dressed. Good. Um, let me have a look at that real quick. Um, it's actually a sign that we want to look at. Okay, so Justice is just winter. Right, okay. Yeah, so I don't know why he was rocking the armor vest in the first place. Okay, good. And it looks like we've finished that build for large sculptors. Large sculptures? So that's good. Um, okay. Alright. Yes, yes, I realize that. I'm hoping that I will get something on soon. Um, so myself and Solid aren't wearing anything right now, and I'm guessing that is because we are dealing with a shortage. So I might go and allow jackets to be worn as well. Because it's better than nothing, but um, once we actually have enough, I think we'll we'll change that. Um, clear forced. Oh, the power arm helmet. Right. Okay. Um, okay. So Winter Soldier. Let's see. Our oh, jackets are allowed, so there's no excuse then. No real excuse. But I will go to here and I will add... Oh, Meg Parker is actually on there, so... Yeah, I'd like to think I'd do that eventually. But I'm I'm moving to the edge of the map now because I'm going to be heading out. Uh, this this has taken a long time to, to build up towards this point here, but it looks like we're very nearly done uh yeah i'm not surprised and we're probably going to lose a lot more of it as well i'm probably gonna have to look at restricting our birds we're gonna have a look we're at minus 11 right now as soon as it looks like it's getting too cold for them that's when we're going to move them because uh yeah, we don't want them to be getting too cold wow okay so maybe we need to oh this isn't actually connected to power timberwolf revenge well good luck with that oh no it's this one that's giving revenge okay the caravan is ready that's good Okay, um, were you hunting? Oh, right, it's that one that's coming for you now. Okay, so Sam, I need you to attempt to shoot this Timberwolf. So let's go here, draft you. Take a good shot. Okay, I'm going to take a better shot. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here now. We're going to allow the turret to take care of it, or at least slow it down. Okay, there we go. That's good. That's done. Good work, Sam. Nicely done. And thank you, turret. I'm glad that we actually had that turret on. So I'm going to go see myself in just a second. Just want to see. Okay, so the power is slowly getting up. It's definitely less than it was before. God, there's so much blood everywhere. <laughs> God damn. Okay, so here I am. We are going to go to here. So that's where we want to go, into Bigger's Village. Okay, so it's going to take how long exactly? We've got eight days of food. It's going to take an hour and 22 days. Okay, nice. An hour and 20... Sorry, a day and 22 hours. I had that really around the wrong way. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom in. So I'm going to be off doing that for a while, going and getting all those chickens, because that's the last thing that we need right now, more animals. But um, in the long run, it is going to be worth it for us. I'm just going to have to kind of try and micromanage what's going on with our food sources at the moment. We're only on 66% food at the moment. How is this a thing? We've only got 66 um, meals. How are we not making more? Cook simple meal. Make 300. Um, okay, why is that not happening? So Solid's out there at the moment. That's good. Scow is sleeping at the moment. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to kind of like micromanage Scow a little bit. Um, so this hasn't been turned on yet. Let's have a look at our power. And it is because it's connected that, to that network over there. So we just need to go reconnect. And it will connect to that lot there. So this should help boost the temperature up throughout all of here. Need warm clothes. Yahoo. Solid. Wear warm clothes then. Oh, he is wearing the jacket. Yeah. 
but uh, I guess he's not wearing a toque and he's not wearing a um, a parka. I think he'd be able to get by without wearing a toque, but he does really need to be wearing a parka. So hopefully I'm going to get back fast so I can start making some of those parkas as well. Because, um, yeah, we are going to need them. Most certainly. Uh, I might need to look at boosting the temperature up on these a little bit. So I don't know if they're going to be able to output any more, but we'll see if they can. It's getting, it's, it's certainly better than it was. Yeah. And what's our temperature like in here? 14 degrees. That's not acceptable. Uh, we're at 13 in here. Okay, that's good. Is that a boar sleeping in the freezer? I'm okay. Okay, I won't, I won't judge. Okay, so it's quite cold outside now. 17 degrees. Um, yeah, I feel like I might need to build some more some more like little nest boxes inside so let's let's have a look at doing that go build copy and uh, pretty much just fill the place up with them for the most part because they should still be able to I, i'm imagining they'll be able to still sleep in the same squares as the eggs when they do end up in there okay yeah you get back inside uh, I'm wondering how you have unfertilized eggs in this because um, for them to actually get past the 50% progress in this it needs to be fertilized and I know that you can have um, you know in your stockpile you can have both unfertilized and fertili fertilized eggs so I'm not so sure about that I, I haven't quite figured that out in my mind yet how that how that is how that works uh, because I don't know if it's possible or not um, I feel like we've got enough herbal medicine for now <laughs> We can probably stop planting heel root for now. Uh, let's look at... Do we want to make some more hay grass? I think we want to make some more hay grass. Where is the daylily died? Down here. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm surprised that we're still planting those. Uh, we are definitely going to need to have all of these on. So really connect all of them. Um, this is going to put more of a strain on our power network, but I think it's fine. I think it's A-OK. -okay. Uh, we really don't need any more cloth either. We've got so much cloth at the moment, so let's just change what we're doing here. Let's, yeah, let's change it up. Um, let's go with making some potatoes here because, oh no, let's let's go for rice because rice is a real quick turnaround um, food for us, so we'll be able to get that really quite quickly. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, I don't know about the devil strand. It takes forever to grow. It just, yeah, takes forever to grow. Okay, temperatures should be getting slightly higher in here now. The cold snap is going to go a lot lower than it usually would, but yeah. Um, let's fast forward through the night. Weird boar just sleeping amongst the bodies in there. <laughs> uh, we've got a flash storm. Okay. Where is it hitting? Okay, over here again. Yeah, no surprises. There are so many muffalo over there. It's a crazy amount. Um, we can see the cold snap has really killed everything outside. Um, it's starting to look really barren, which means that the grass that's outside that they have been feeding off, that is going to be disappearing. So they are going to start to get hungry soon. And we're going to have to try and deal with that as best we can with what we've got available to us. Uh, when is our next corn harvest? It's nearly there. Okay, so that's good at the very least. The hay grass is going to take a little bit longer to come in, but we're going to have we're going to have two fields of that growing. Um, this is going to be changed out for rice, and I'm I'm tempted to just say, you know what, Devil Strand, screw you. You take way too long to go. We need to keep our people alive and change that out for something else. Do we do that? I don't know. I'm not so sure. How many berries do we have kicking around at the moment? A few, a fair amount. I mean, we could probably be feeding the berries to them outside as well, right? They're going to eat it up in a second, huh? So let's let's do that. It's cold enough outside as well. So let's go raw food. We're going to go vegetarian, and we're going to put the berries outside there. We're going to go into here and say berries are no longer allowed. Uh, the flash storm is over. That's, that's good. I was worried. I was concerned. You see me sweating. Okay, so the berries are gone. Good. And it's snowing outside. Yay. <laughs> Oh, because we're, we're prepared for this. Okay, chick number eight is being attacked by a timber wolf. Oh, wow, there is actually a lot of fire. We might lose some of our birds. Um, wow, we're actually losing a fair amount of the birds in the fire. Run away from the fire. Wake up. Wake up. 
Come on, let's go. God damn. Um, I might be able to get some of the components from over here as well, but I'm not that concerned with it because we're able to make components back at home now. It's not such a big deal for us anymore. That and we can dig, you know, metal from the ground. So yeah, I'm, I'm not super concerned about that at the moment. Yeah, I think we're okay. Okay, right, so now we're at gentle snow. I do need to just pay attention to our birds. Okay, so hypothermia. So now we need to restrict our birds. So let's go to our zones and we're going to go to turkey house and we actually want to clear the area for turkey house. So turkey house is going to be pretty restricted. That does mean that we're going to have to do something with their food. Um, so I'm just going to have to be mindful of that. Okay. Go like that. Okay, so that's the restriction for Turkey House right now. Um, so I'm going to need to bring food into there. Either that or allow them to come out to here as well. I'm afraid of allowing them to come out to here because I don't want them to spend too much time outside. I think we're just going to allow them to do that just for the time being. Um, yeah. Mm, or, or don't we? What's the... Okay, I feel like we need to have another one. I, th I thought we were going to be okay, but I, I think we are actually going to need to have one in there to keep them alive throughout this, so we're going to make that a top priority at the moment, getting that built, so uh, okay, hen is burnt to death, great let's see, um, okay Dustin, I know you're drilling who else, who else is nearby that we can get to come and build here, Zeke, you're a fantastic constructor, let's get you to work on that thank you very much uh, Dustin's out in the cold, but he's feeling great. He's feeling excellent about life right now. Um, but he, yeah, because I mean, he's he's going to be completely warm. He's wearing his um, parka and everything, so yeah, he'll be doing good. Yeah, all of them outside here like this. Th that's not what we want. So we're going to go ahead and change that again. So let's go to our zones once again. So rest uh, restrict? No, not restrict. Zones. Yeah. And we want to clear that for Turkey House. Uh, and I'm just going to have to make sure that we bring food into there. Um, so the little stockpiles that we've got in here. Um, I need to change that to allow berries as well. Yeah. Okay. And I might just quickly take Zeke and ask her to do some hauling. So they're going to all go and jump inside here. Um... Where did Zeke go? Okay, she is actually getting the the steel for the heater. We've got so many birds now. Keeping them all inside is going to be a little difficult. Attila is also going to be suffering from the cold as well. So we should allow Attila to go inside there. So let's just jump to uh, animals. And Attila, where are you? I guess really, I mean, we've only got the one ostrich. We should... Oh, Bradley's got a bond to it. God damn it, Bradley. <laughs> Okay, turkey house for you then. Turkey house. Go on, get in there. Yeah, it's pretty crowded. It's pretty crowded. <laughs> okay, Scout is cooking good. Just keep on cooking for out today. Um, I, yeah, maybe we do need to do it. Because uh, maybe we do need another kitchen. Could be about time, right? W was that like an explosion? Like, you all saw the screen move then, right? It wasn't just me. <laughs> So sure that I just saw an explosion. Yeah. Um, how are they doing food-wise? Yeah, they're going to need food soon. How fast are these berries growing here? They're ready to harvest at the moment, so why aren't we harvesting them? I don't know. Zeke, is there any way I could get you to haul some of these berries for me? Ideally, I'd like them to get hauled into there first, but I don't think that's what's going to happen. Okay, solar, fare, solar flare, all electronic devices are turned off, which also means that our heaters are turned off. We need to try and harvest this stuff as fast as possible. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to wake up Torviard. He's going to go into here. Um, prioritize harvesting. See if we can rescue any of these, because what's going to happen is... Because the, um, the all the electronic devices are turning off, we are going to start losing them right away. Um, I would rather you worked on those. I guess the others aren't ready for harvesting. 
Oh, okay. I guess we. I thought we could select them all to harvest, but maybe not. Um, we're harvesting them early, so it means that we're not going to get as much from them, but they are just going to die otherwise, so... Um, I'd really rather you just stay here and do this for a little bit, Torben. We're just going to... We're, we're going to micro him just for a little bit. He does want to eat. And that's fine. Um, I think Booty is actually going to make some smoke leaf joints. Would you look at that? All right, Booty. Okay. We're just going to micro for a little bit longer here. Um, I don't know how long they last for before they decide that they've had enough, but um, we're just going to try and do this for a little bit longer. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so we don't lose our charge, it's just all electronic devices turn themselves off. Uh, so those berries d disappeared really, really quickly. So <laughs> let's turn the berries off that just for the time being. And we're going to borrow Zeke again, who is clearing snow at the moment in here. All oh, right, so she was actually clearing that area. Um, let's see. Can I get you to just haul some of these berries for me instead? Oh, Sam, you got yourself a muffalo. Nice. Uh, so apparently there is no empty place for us to store them. And is that because we've got these here as well? Oh yeah, it is. It is essentially, that's the reason why. Okay, so let's go cancel and cancel. Okay, um, has that been built yet or not? No, why has that not been built? Did we run out of components? I can't see past the turkeys. I can't see past the turkeys to do it. Um, we should have more than enough components. And the steel hasn't reached there as well. Is it because they're on the square right now? That might be it. So what I might need to do is just get them to filter out for a second. Um, is there a faster way to do that? I guess I can just expand the area just for the time being. So let's just go zone. Expand allowed area. Turkey house. Um, yeah, we'll allow them to come into here for now as well. and see if we can get them to to move out okay here we go here they go god damn my mood's not so good right now okay come on filter out turkeys filter out you can do it there we go prioritize working on that heater <laughs> get it done i guess these other ones don't need to be done okay she's gonna go get the steel and everything again Good work. Uh, so the bad thing was that that entire time they were actually getting worse hypothermia. Oh, and, and saying that, they're actually okay. Because I guess minus six is all right. It's actually not too cold for them. So if that's the case, we don't need the heater. No, we don't. We don't need the heater. Okay, that's that's at least a little bit of good news. So we don't need to put another heater in there. You know, minus six is, is fine for them. Uh, and that's with the heater turned off in there as well. So, you know, it's okay. It, it, oh, it's actually okay outside as well, surprisingly enough. Um, so that should be okay then. That should be okay. Um, I'm actually just going to go to our zones and I want to clear the snow area because uh, I, yeah, I'm not so worried about that. I don't know why we've got that. Oh, because that was the original area where there was uh, snow, but there isn't. There isn't snow anymore. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about um, clearing the snow around here, other than maybe just to clear a path between here. So it might just be doing something like this. Yeah, something like that. Um, okay, but we still need to have food in here for them. So let's, yeah, berries, and that's critical. Good. So can we get some berries in there for them? There you go. So as soon as these berries start heading out that way, I'm going to get them to go. Uh, I mean, I could restrict them into there for the time being, but then I guess, you know, I can also just let them go everywhere else. Now, how many are you eating at a time? Probably 10, right? I'm not I'm not 100% sure on that, but we'll see. We've got a minor break risk. Um, I guess because at the moment, I'm my, my major thing I'm wanting to keep going is like, we need to keep the turkeys. Like, we just need to keep them. Um, we're going to have a lot more food coming in. You know what? We are going to get rid of this. Like, this is just... Yeah. Bad seasonal temperature? Well, yeah, because the, the temperature's dropped in here entirely. Um, so what do we want to do instead? Rice is really quick growing, so let's just go rice. We, we'll get two things of rice. 
That's good, we've got some hay grass. That's gonna be good for us as well. The grass outside is actually entirely dying off. Although in saying that, were we able to see it before? Maybe not. Well, maybe we weren't able to see it. Ah, uh, that's one of our turkeys. No, maybe not. So many turkeys in here. Hey, Zeke is, uh, Zeke's having a... He's having a little bit of a smoke. Just getting relaxed. In the darkness. From the solar flare. Which I'm hoping will pass because we're dealing with a solar flare and a freaking cold snap at the same time. Which is not a good combination. Not a good combination of the two. Um, I guess Bradley could... Oh, wow, Booty, Booty is the major crafter when it comes to uh, <laughs> making smoke leaf. Uh, when the power's off. It's just what he does. Uh, we can't actually make any more food when this is off as well. Yay! There we go. There we go. That's good. Well, at least we managed to get some butchering done on that time as well. Um, they will be able to make some kibble at the same time, so I would like to see that happening. And hopefully we will. Um, I'm probably going to get the animals out of here because I feel like they're making it really <laughs> dirty. I feel like they're the ones that are dragging all the dirt in. It might not be the case. Uh, so let's just change our turkey house again. So let's go turkey house. Clear that from turkey house. And we're going to expand the area to include uh, the outside as well. Because I think, I think the temperature is okay now for them to be roaming about. Yeah, so we'll let them do that. Uh, saying that, we do have more snow coming in. <laughs> wow, yeah, all of that, all of that hay grass is gone. I'm probably just going to delete this growing zone because, yeah. Oh, they got food poisoning. A chunk of spacecraft has fallen and landed nearby. Oh, of course, but it's over here. Do we have any of our chickens left? I wonder. I wonder if we do. I really wonder. Because there's been this huge fire burning here from this goddamn storm before. I'm not going to worry about the spacecraft chunk. I'm just here for the for the chickens. I'm here for the chickens. And it looks like there are still quite a few left. They've kind of been just breeding amongst themselves. It's not it's not cold here yet. Like, they don't have a cold snap. But I guess, that, I guess it's not everywhere. You know, cold snaps are usually pretty localized. So, yeah. Uh, Zeke is quickly moving around the place trying to make it clean as quick as possible. All the turkeys are gone, Zeke. Don't worry. Don't worry. And they should be able to get their fill. Um, what I'm worried about is like just this little bit of short term before we get these... Before we can actually harvest. Oh, yes! We've got another corn harvest. Perfect. Good. Good, good, good. Yay! Okay, that's a relief at the very least. Uh, we've got more components getting made over here as well. Nice. How are we looking? Only 10 components. Okay, so it's good that he's doing that at the moment because um, I've been going around making all these heaters, so... Yeah. Um, we're not getting much deconstruction done. It sounds like a bear's attacking something nearby. I'm a little concerned. Or maybe it was just our bull making noise. Maybe. All right, we, we're, we're starting to get up on the battery power, but uh, in part that's because we weren't using any of that power before, so I'm probably not going to turn on all of the, the turrets just yet. And um, I've actually run on a lot further than I wanted to today. It looks like I'm still going to be going for a little while longer. I'm not going to be there for a little while. So this is probably where we're going to wrap things up for today in RimWorld. It looks like the cold is here. You know, fall is going to start getting a lot colder for us. We know that winter is really cold, so we need to be careful with that. Um, okay, and I have actually arrived. I actually arrived in time. Nice. Uh, it looks like I want to try and unload the inventory. But what I'm probably going to do, even before we finish today, is just go right back to that world map and see if we can form a caravan. Okay, so this is what we've got at the moment. These are the animals that we have left. So we did actually lose some um, because of that fire. Um, so let's go ahead and just take everyone we can with us. Good. Uh, can we take the muffalo? Why can't we take the muffalo? Oh. Oh, right, that's how we take them. But the other ones, we were just taking the animals with us? I, d I don't understand that. Oh, hang on, wait. 13? There's, there's a lot of them need 13? Or we have 13 chicks? Okay, there's quite a few. We've got quite a few. Uh... <laughs> wow. 
Uh, we've got roosters as well. Okay. Um, okay, right. Okay, because there's more than one of those. Wow, we've got a lot. Holy crap. Um, maybe it's a mistake me bringing back that much. Maybe not. We are going to bring these back with us as well. Uh, am I bringing any meals back with us? We'll never run out of food. Okay. Because I guess we've I've got the food with me still? I'm not sure. But apparently we will never run out of food. Okay. Oh, right. 1.6 days worth of food. Is that the animals? Because I feel like we left with a lot more than that and it didn't take us that long to get here. Maybe I should allow myself to just unload first. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. And next episode, I'm going to come back and make sure that I get myself coming back as soon as possible because with the snow that's fallen around, it's going to make the journey back that much slower. So we'll see how that goes. I've been Rikon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.